Well, originally this video was going to be about uh, a mini tier list of mage stuff. What do you want to make first? And why? Uh, and then I realized that would be short and kind of uninteresting. Uh, the answer is Staff of Protection. Because it helps you out defensively, offensively, helps out your friends, helps out any future teams that you have. Uh, starts off, you get that thing up to quality 2. Now you have a 200 health bubble that, uh, well, the final bits of damage will uh, not carry over to you when it's broken. And it lasts, what, two minutes? So, very, very strong. It scales excellently. Plus five health per level in blood magic. Even though blood magic takes, takes absurdly long to level up. It is absurdly powerful and rewarding. Like, that that thing, even with the cost, the bubble more than makes up for it and allows you to parry things and not get staggered so that you can be offensive uh, when you need to. You can have like, more of a countering playstyle, more tank playstyle, more defensive playstyle, more uh, just pure aggressive playstyle. It's immense in co-op and it is most definitely a S tier item staff of protection. No doubt. But I also think two of the other staffs are S tier, just a little bit lower. Uh, let's actually get this set up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just do this uh, setup here. Zap protection. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, hmm. uh, technically, let's see where where we got. What do we got? Technically, we would have like. Roger Fang in there. Uh, let's see. But Draugr Fang is kind of outclassed right now. Spine Snap is better damage. Huntsman Bow if you want the stamina. Huntsman Bow it would be like... Yeah, Huntsman Bow I'm gonna put here. Most stamina efficient, 100% accurate bow that we have right now. 4 meter aggro radius. Instead of the 8 meter like every other bow. Which isn't as relevant in the mistlands, but very well could be in the future. Definitely relevant in the plains and sometimes in mountains. Uh, yeah, just our blessed. Damage and advance. Potential for elemental bolts. I mean, right now it's just... Pure burst damage from range, either recharges when you're loading it, making it a good low stamina, low either ranged weapon for a mage. Uh, it's just so nice. The burst damage is super good. At good, uh, good arbalest or good crossbow levels, you could one shot a y'all with a sneak attack on his little orbs, his little his little balls. So, uh, that, yeah, you know, that's pretty good. The burst damage is going to be so good in the future. I mean, this S tier used to just be like, what, uh, two things? Uh, it used to be just Draugrfang and Huntsman Bow. And now there's just a whole group of things, like, a low, uh, fire and blunt damage from range at a total max possible of 240 per slam. Uh, hello? Like, <laughs> that's so good. Potential staggering from range at uh, DPS that can combo with your spine snap. Just, or not DPS, like DOT and DPS, really. It's just so nice. And of course, Staff of Frost, just incredibly fast, multi-hit frost damage. It's just a really good mid-range control, even if the blast spray randomly and is really bad for long range, the mid-range is just going to be really clean and then like the larger the target is, let's say y'all or uh, the queen or any sort of large mini boss, uh, I know we're probably getting one in the Ashlands, 
Um, this is going to be even better for at a uh, longer range because the target's bigger. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, just slowing things down with frost from range is so, so immensely good. I mean, this is why the spine sap is so high because of the frost arrow. It's just complete, like, you have control, you have DPS, and just like you have range all in one. It's just phenomenal. But yeah, uh, this is, just, I mean, it's all, it's all like range or incredible support. Uh, personally, I would love more stuff like this. I think the expansion of S tier is really cool because we have like really interesting supportive items that are also damaging. So Staff of Frost offers a lot of control with uh, the slowdown. Spine Stop at really high off, uh, levels as well as Huntsman Bow does as well with uh, Frost Arrows and just Frost Arrows are amazing. Like versus a neutral target and you have plenty uh, in the Mistlands, but even if the Seekers weren't resistant to Pierce, and they're just neutral to pierce and frost. Frost arrows still out damage carapace arrows, which seems ridiculous to think about, but they do. Just <laughs> it's it's so silly. It's goofy. it's so good. It's so good. Uh, but yeah, I would like uh maybe like a staff of lightning that did uh I don't know more AOE or. Uh, like surrounding you or maybe lightning bolts I think that would be cool maybe it would conjure like a physical lightning bolt that would be more like a lightsaber and you made like unique melee attacks with it like that would be sick oh uh, there's a lot of potential but I really like the idea of like a staff of the earth where uh you are uh setting up like custom earth walls maybe literally building the earth walls like you the staff of the earth is literally like it looks like a, an altered build hammer on a staff and you can open up a menu and build stuff with earth like that could even be like traps or damaging but could just literally just be walls so that you can immediately swap to like demolisher and, and bonk the enemies through the wall like, that's so exciting. Like, maybe the wall breaks, and then it deals AoE damage as well. Like, come on now. The, the potential is so high. Uh, yeah, I really would like uh, also just uh, some sort of S-tier melee option. Uh, I know that, like, Mistwalker, him and Awful are getting really damn close. So, like, really high A-tier, I would have uh, Mistwalker... Him in awful. I'm not 100% about these placements. They could be interchangeable at the moment. Uh, I have it right here at the moment, but very well could change. I need to do an at gear main run with this to truly understand uh, in order to be sure. But they're really, really, really approaching this point of S tier. I think S tier uh, weapon could be uh, any sort of double elemental thing with partial range. So if you had like a spear that uh, was sort of magic, let's say it returned to you. So let's get rid of all of those issues. Boom, gone. It returned to you. And let's say if it was like part lightning and part frost. That's an S tier weapon. I'm, it just is. It, that's just staggering. Control. Like range. Hello? Like that's why all, that's why mo so much of this is an S tier. So, uh... Let's say you have Berserker Axes and those are good in the Ashlands, like... Okay. You, maybe in the Deep North you have a version of those that are magical. Maybe in Middle Mouse you throw them, deals really good staggering, but they also come back to you. So it eliminates that issue. And then you just follow up with high staggering moves, and those can be partially lightning. That would also be S tier. And I would really enjoy the uh, continuation of the expansion of not only uh, A, A tier, but uh, S tier, with uh, more and more interesting and, and, and thoughtful weapons, more than just uh, just pure range damage and uh, control with frost arrows, just like with the bows and, and just raw burst damage with the arblast. Although it's good to have different types of range damage, you know. Uh, but even so, like considering staff protection exists, that frost, which is almost pure. Uh, control and pure support I would really love really good uh, I mean it could even be just A tier but 
really good control, really good support to the point of being uh, S tier in different ways. Yeah, I'm, I want it. I would love it. I think it would be so cool. And let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, not a complete tier list, <laughs> but, but it's not trying to be. Anyway, let me know what you think of my ideas and let me know your thoughts as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.